The real reason you can't avoid the shock and controversy behind Diddy's apology video? And before you think it's just another celebrity scandal, this revelation has layers that will leave you stunned. Stay till the end to get the full story behind the video, the details of the apology, and the broader implications for Diddy's career and personal life. In a shocking turn of events, Sean Diddy Combs, a towering figure in the music industry, has publicly apologized for his actions in a video that has left fans and critics alike stunned. The video, which surfaced courtesy of CNN, depicts Diddy physically assaulting his then-girlfriend Cassie in a hotel hallway back in 2016. This disturbing footage shows Diddy, clad only in a white towel, engaging in a series of violent actions that include punching, kicking, shoving, and even throwing a vest at Cassie. This moment, captured on security cameras, has sparked an intense wave of scrutiny and backlash against the music mogul. The video begins with Diddy issuing a somber apology, his demeanor reflective of the gravity of the situation. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. He begins, his voice heavy with regret. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. His words echo the sentiments of many who have watched the footage, unable to reconcile the public persona of the charismatic, successful entrepreneur with the man in the video committing such violent acts. Diddy's relationship with Cassie, whose legal name is Cassandra Ventura, has been the subject of public interest for years. She was signed to his label in 2005, and their romantic involvement spanned more than a decade, marked by periods of both harmony and turbulence. The video, dated March 5, 2016, aligns closely with descriptions in a lawsuit Ventura filed in November, which accused Diddy of years of sexual, physical, and emotional abuse. This lawsuit, although settled the next day, has opened the floodgates for more allegations and a federal criminal sex trafficking investigation that led authorities to raid Diddy's mansions in Los Angeles and Miami. The emergence of the security footage has added a new dimension to these allegations, providing visual evidence that corroborates Ventura's claims. According to her lawsuit, the incident occurred at an intercontinental hotel in Century City, Los Angeles. The suit alleges that Diddy paid the hotel $50,000 for the security video immediately after the incident, a claim neither he nor his representatives have addressed directly. CNN has not disclosed how it obtained the footage, but its release has undoubtedly shifted public perception and intensified the scrutiny on Diddy. In his video apology, Diddy doesn't shy away from the pain and disappointment he has caused. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life, but sometimes you gotta do that, he says, indicating that he has sought professional help through therapy and rehab. He further mentions his need for divine forgiveness, highlighting his struggle to come to terms with his actions. I'm so sorry, but I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry, he concludes. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you got to do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom, but I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it, I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy, I'm going to rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. Despite the sincerity of his apology, many remain skeptical. After all, this is not the first time Diddy has faced such serious allegations. In December, 
Amidst a flurry of lawsuits from Ventura and other women, he took to Instagram to broadly deny the truth of all the accusations. His post, which asserted, let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged, stands in stark contrast to his recent admission of guilt. The implications of this incident are vast. For Diddy, this public apology could be seen as a step towards redemption, yet the road ahead is fraught with challenges. The statute of limitations for criminal charges related to the assault and battery depicted in the video has expired, meaning he won't face prosecution for this specific incident. However, federal investigators are delving into other potential crimes, keeping the pressure on Diddy. For Cassie, this revelation might offer a semblance of justice and validation. Her courage in coming forward has shed light on the darker aspects of a relationship that was once seen as glamorous. It also underscores the broader issue of domestic abuse within high-profile relationships, prompting important conversations about accountability and support for survivors. As the video concludes, viewers are left to grapple with the complex narrative that has unfolded. Diddy's admission and apology, while a significant development, do not erase the pain inflicted or the serious nature of the allegations against him. The music industry and fans alike will watch closely as this story continues to evolve, impacting Diddy's legacy and the ongoing dialogue about power, abuse, and redemption in the public eye. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the Red Carpet Reup.